My name is Daniel Mendoza. Today is very significant for me. Today is my first day at UC Davis. Three years today, I was inside a juvenile facility. I was looking at 35 years to life. I was being tried as an adult, and I was in solitary confinement. Six years ago, Daniel and a group of friends assaulted a man in Watsonville, California. The man died as a result of the beating. Daniel and several of his friends were charged with murder with gang enhancements. Daniel was to be tried in adult court at the age of 14. Where I grew up, it was a very gang-infested uh, area, and so um, you kind of get caught up in this thinking of, you know, um, getting in trouble or you, you try to impress the wrong people for the wrong reasons. And so that's where I found myself at 14. You know, my family was unstable, you know, divorce and, you know, whatever came with that. And, you know, I was kind of left alone to fend for myself. At 14 years old, you have someone who had like a sixth, seventh grade reading level, being tried as an adult, attending adult court, and honestly, I had no idea what was going on. The vocabulary you're talking about, the, the, the mannerism, the professionalism, that was very unknown to me. You didn't even I, know what to ask. I didn't even know where to start. Daniel waited three years to go to trial, and during that time, he earned his high school diploma and began taking college classes while still in custody. As a result of Daniel's demonstrated remorse and rehabilitation, the Santa Cruz County Juvenile Probation Department intervened in his case, convincing the judge Daniel should be tried as a juvenile. Daniel was paroled at 19 instead of going to state prison. Victims of serious crime should, I think, reconsider trying youth as adults because, you know, at the end of the day, those youth are going to get out one day. And it's up to us if we want to give them rehabilitative services or not. There's this analogy of veterans, you know, where veterans come back from war and they have PTSD and you know, they, need, they, they, they do stuff that they normally wouldn't do, like we get them help. And so I feel a lot of the youth in our community are kind of that way too, where they're, you know, there's gang wars, there's violence, there's violence in their own home. And so they're always, you know, on their tippy toes or they're always, you know, um, ready for violence or bad things to happen. And so I think when we look at youth that way um, and we see youth commit serious crimes, we need to get them some help. I don't think I'm special. I don't think, you know, I got, you know, I'm lucky. I think every kid has the potential to rehabilitate themselves and redeem themselves. And if given the proper opportunities and resources, can come out and do good for themselves.